Hi, I'm Chef Amy Hoagie and I'm here to show you how to make a classic strawberry blintz. This is a wonderful recipe to have for breakfast or even for dinner on those nights you really don't want to cook much. And here's how we do it. We're going to take some half a cup of flour. While my pan is preheating, that's important to know, I've got a nice crepe pan over here. All a crepe or a blintz is, is a stuffed crepe with like a sour cream or cottage cheese filling with a little, whether it's a fruit flavoring or a, a jam. So we got that going, it's getting pretty hot, it's on medium. So I, again, I put my half a cup of flour in here, about a half a cup of milk. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. And we're gonna do a little splash of vanilla, because I love vanilla. And then we're gonna take about a tablespoon of sugar. These aren't super sweet. Um, the French tend to go a little under sugared and it, it actually tastes pretty good because then you can add a little syrup, a little powdered sugar. Then I'm gonna add one egg and I have a little bit of a very softened butter here. There we go, and I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm just gonna mi mix it right up. Now this batter is gonna be a little bit thinner, quite a bit thinner than a pancake batter, but you really don't want clumps. And a whisk really helps you get that out of there. There we go, okay. So I've got a little bit of oil here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of oil onto my pan. We're gonna all around there. Get, coat the pan. Because basically what you want is you want your crepe to kind of come up and kind of float on top once it's cooked. I'm gonna add about, ooh, I like that sound. There we go. Oh yeah, and I like to make it thin and let it drizzle all over there. There we go. And you'll be able to know when it's done because it's gonna to start to bubble on the edge. We don't really want a lot of color. Sometimes you'll get color, that tan, um, toasted look, but you know we wanna keep it as light as we can. That's kind of the classic French look. See now it's kind of starting to come up here. Ooh yeah. Then we got some chopped up strawberries here, which we're gonna go ahead. And while we're waiting, as we're gonna take our sour cream, I'm gonna use sour cream today, and a little bit of strawberries. Whoop. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sugar. So really, this, this recipe, you really don't even need any, whoops, I'm gonna lose a strawberry. You don't even need the, um, the syrup. I'm gonna fill it right here. I'm actually gonna kinda roll it. We're gonna roll it right onto our, do like a tri-fold roll here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, turn off your heat so you don't burn yourself. There you go. I'm gonna add a little powdered sugar. There you have it. A nice strawberry blend. <laughs>